M. K. Stalin, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, earlier assured that within 100 days of coming to power, he would resolve all the 17 lakh petitions submitted by the people of Tamil Nadu to his party DMK. This week, Stalin crossed the threshold of 100 days in office as Chief Minister. But have things changed for the good? Many have praised the DMK-led government for the way they handled the pandemic for passing a separate agriculture budget and so on. However, it turns out that his government continues to turn a blind eye to many of the workers' issues. This week alone, there have been a number of statewide protests organized by various trade unions. Members of the Central Organization of Tamil Nadu Electricity Employees CoTE, affiliated to Center of Indian Trade Unions CITU, staged a protest in front of the TNEB offices on Tuesday demanding regularization of services of contract employees. Many of the electricity workers have remained as contract employees for over 10 years and are eligible for no government benefits. The workers pointed out that the DMK took up the issue in their election manifesto and the protests were held to get the government's attention. TNGEA The Tamil Nadu Government Employees Association TNGEA, carried out demonstrations at various government offices across the state demanding the increase in Dearness Allowance DA. Thousands of staff and officials from state government departments staged a protest wearing black badges on Monday to grab the attention of the Tamil Nadu government. The association pointed out that the union government has announced revised DA at 28% from last month, but the state government has postponed it by 8 months due to which employees are losing around 10% of their salary for this period. In Tamil Nadu, Government hospital nurses have been protesting since 2017, seeking to regularize their services. This Monday also they protested demanding the same. In 2015, the state government had recruited a batch of 14,000 nurses through the Medical Services Recruitment Board MRB, on a two-year contract through an examination promising to soon regularize their services. The state government has regularized only 2,000 nurses so far. However, a nurse on contract handles the same set of duties as a permanent staff nurse but for a low pay and with no employment benefits. Auto drivers also held protests this week on Tuesday. The Auto Drivers Union, affiliated to the Center of Indian Trade Unions CITU, staged protests across the state urging the union government to bring down prices of petrol, diesel and auto LPG cylinders besides other demands made to the state government. Besides this, workers belonging to many other sectors have been holding protest demonstrations over the last few weeks. Whether it is veterinary doctors, automobile industry workers, differently abled people, bullock cart workers among others, they are all awaiting the state government to address their livelihood issues.